What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Fish Cat Collectibles. Head into the LCS, get the books. We're gonna stop off and get some bags and boards here first. I got a partner in crime with me today. So just ignore her, okay? It's all about me over here at this channel. All right, well, like I said, I don't know if I'll wait till we get back from the LCS uh, or if I'll film there, so we'll figure it out. All right, later. It's supposed to be comic shopping. I'm going into Ulta. Press on nails from Ulta. Do not look like comic books. Take them back now. All right, people, we're coming down the hill here into Wingsport. Hopefully, uh, traffic's not horrendous. I forgot Little League World Series started, so the traffic could be horrendous coming in here. So I guess we will see here as soon as we get around this corner. Let's see, we'll start all this. It's going to be congested through here. Right there, got tickets. No, nope, I don't want to park. There's the Little League World Series. The museum, the fields are down behind it. There it is, Little League Museum. Seems like we're getting here pretty smooth. We'll be at the, at the shop in a few minutes. All right, guys. Welcome back to the man cave. I didn't uh, shoot at the shop. I was in and out pretty quick because I had my daughter with me. And as you saw, she was running me around different stores for her beauty needs. So uh, today, uh, it's going to be real quick. Two of my books, I think my uh, Star Wars didn't, didn't come in. It was uh, damage, they said. And firepower never came in this week, so she said it was shorted from diamonds. So I guess I'll get them next week. She said I'll definitely get them. So this week was also a, a supply week. You know that's never fun buying supplies. I feel like you're just wasting your money. But I'll show you what I grabbed. So I have a do a power bomb number three. That's pretty cool. We have Nightwing number ninety five. This is uh, Flash number 785. We have Edge of the Spider-Verse number two. That's the A cover. And last but not least was uh, the Mandalorian number two. If you guys see this, this is uh, officially the first appearance of Grogu in a comic book. So, I mean, there was a million of them. It probably won't be worth anything, but you might want to grab it. And if you can grab that Star Wars 26, there was like eight first appearances in that book. So, I'm hoping the hell I can get it next week. So, but we also stopped off at uh, like Books A Million, my daughter and I. So, I saw this. I grabbed this. I'm going to be using this for a giveaway. Deceased hardcover. The $30 book. Still sealed, got a good deal on it, so I figured I already had it myself, but I thought, you know, might as well grab one, use it for a giveaway. Then we stopped off at Ollie's, and this was a $35 book. I don't know if any of you guys ever heard of this book. It's from DC Comics, it's called, called Dial H. I don't know if this was like from the New 52 era, um, but I read like uh, the reviews on this, and people said this is like a really good book. They said uh, this. All right, guys, I'm back. Hey, uh, I don't know half of my camera shut off. But, yeah, I was talking about this book. I had look, read reviews on this. I think it's from the New 52. I guess this guy's like a loser. He's just a gamer. He doesn't work. He's fat, out of shape. And he discovers, like, a telephone booth. But he can take over, like, a DC superhero. Like, he can be the Flash or Batman he, in their full costumes. I never even heard of this series. So, if you guys ever did, let me know. Sounded interesting. I got it at Ollie's for $7.99. It's a $35 book. It's a thick book. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd try that out. And then I have one last thing from this week. I bought this, like, what is it, like a 
two weeks ago. These were on clearance for fourteen dollars and nine cents shipped. So uh, I know you guys know I collect some of the Funko album covers. Well, this was I think these are made by Funko. This is the vinyl gold. When I saw this, I had to grab it. Here is uh, the twelve inch Jimi Hendrix. Greatest left-handed guitar player of all time. Probably definitely top three in my book all time of any guitar player. So uh, what do you guys think? Who's, who do you think the number one guitar player is of all time? And do you even think that Jimi Hendrix is the top three or top five? Let me know. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool for $14. That was pretty much all I had for this week, guys. Appreciate you guys coming in. Going on the journey with myself and my daughter today. Uh, don't be afraid to leave a like or comment. I read all of them. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, yeah, definitely leave them in the in the comments. I, I'll, I'll get back to you. So uh, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Later. <laughs>